Now then guys, welcome to Stras Gaming and welcome to episode 50 of my Journeyman Save on Football Manager 2019. We're with Cardiff here. We're getting to the business end of the season. We're slowly getting there now. Uh, last time out you saw us, um, it was just the uh, the West Ham game. It was the FA Cup fifth round. It was a nice short little episode. Well, what was meant to be a nice short little episode, we ended up winning on penalties on that. Um, games since then, I've been alright actually, not been too bad. We lost against Man City and it was heartbreaking. Again, we went 1-0 up quite early on. They scored. And then literally, and I'm not even joking this time, it was the last kick of the game. There was 95 minutes worth of extra time. The ref kept playing and they scored in the 96th minute. Which was just it's just so heartbreaking that we didn't get a point. But it's fine. We're the top of the league. So we're bound to lose against them. Um, then what else have we got? Wolves. We beat Wolves 3-2. And it was one hell of a game. Um, who was got in? Matrell, a uh, penalty to Aguero and Maximum come on and scored, which was good. We came back from that as well. We were 1-0 down. We made it 1-1. They scored and then we got two late goals. So, again, a good game against Wolves. Tottenham, we managed to beat Tottenham 2-1. Harvey Barnes scoring. Deli Alli scored again. And then Aguero getting on the score sheet. Aguero is actually slowly starting to step up a little bit more. And scoring a few goals. We're struggling with injuries and all that sort of stuff as well. At this point, Dean Henderson got injured. You'll find out in a bit who's replaced him. Roberto. Who's Roberto? You'll find out. We lost anyway against Burnley. 1-0. Bottom of the table, Burnley as well. And I think I just set the team up wrong. It wasn't the right sort of team. Everyone was knackered. It just didn't work. Uh, Oye got injured. He's out again for a little bit. And then we followed it up by 1-0 win against Southampton. Harvey Barnes scoring off the bench, I think it was. Or uh, was it off the bench? Maybe an off the bench. Anyway, Harvey Barnes came on. He scored 1-0 for us. It was a good game. The lovely 19-year-old Brazilian goal goalkeeper that we bought in just in this transfer window, which I'm glad we did for 1.3 million. He's kept his first clean sheet, so he's played two games. He's on a 7.10 rating, or 7 rating. He's doing all right. So what's going down today in, in today's episodes, you see? We have got Everton in the sixth round of the FA Cup, which is technically the quarterfinal, isn't it, really? Then we've got Newcastle in the league. We've got a big gap in between there, though. There's a little bit of an international break going on, so that's going to be fun for me to uh, wait around for that, to get that game on the go. But anyway, we're here. We'll look at the team. We'll see how we're going to set up. And this is how we're going. The 4-2-4 seems to be doing all right for us. Um, I would play the defensive tactic, but we can't because Gio is obviously he's cup tied. He's played in the uh, FA Cup already for Everton, uh, funny enough. So this is how we're going to line up. And we're going to go with quite a full strength team. Considering we've got a bit of a break as well afterwards, I can afford to kind of put a full strength team out. So we've got Roberto. James, do, does James want to play? Do I want to play Reese James? I don't think I do. I'm going to bring on Montreux. Montreux. Um, I forgot his name. Saldado, Sane and Cunningham as my back four. With Guendouzi, Aqua in the centre. With Barnes on the right-hand side as an inside forwards. Miguel as a winger attacking with Morel and Aguero. It's not Morel. Um, again, I keep forgetting people's names. Anyway, it doesn't matter anyway. We're just going to get into it. You're here just to see if we're going to win anyway. Um, and it should be all right, I think. I reckon we could do it. It depends on how well they play. We're at, we're at home as well. We've got the home advantage. I expect to win. I've told him I expect to win. I don't know why I said I expect to win. Because if we lose, it's fine. We're, we're, again, we've hit the expectations of what we're meant to be now. So it's just anywhere from here. This is a bit fast. Let's turn this down, shall we? Um, because I had it on a bit quick to try and get through the, the games in between the recording kind of thing. Because I'm struggling a little bit with trying to get time for recording and all that sort of stuff. But anyway... Everton kick off. It's not even been two minutes yet, and they're going to have a chance. So they're just going to score a goal, but luckily it's disallowed. And I'm hoping Roberto in goal kind of knew he was offside because he just didn't even move. It was a tight offside as well, and it just literally the shot come in. He just didn't even bother. So he, I'll take it. He must have knew he was offside. Throwing to Everton. Thing is, Everton knocked us out of the um, Carabao Cup, so we've got a bit of retribution to get back here. Ball comes in. Miguel's there with a header. Miguel, by the way, he signed a new contract. And I was an idiot because I offered him a new contract just to uh, get rid of his release clause. And then instead, I offered him a new contract paying him more money with a release clause, 
less uh, for less money than it actually was. So he's a wonder kid. He's probably going to leave at some point and only for £30 million, which we need to try and change that as much as we can. Right, Barnes, we're on the attack here, Granduzzi. Playing it to Matrell. Ball over the top looking for uh, Aguero. Doesn't find him. And then Everton just picked the ball up again. That's the problem with not having an attacking midfielder. They're in here. Yeah, it's a nice, easy goal. And it's because we don't have the attacking midfielders and we don't have the defensive midfielder, there's, there's just a bit of a gap. I may just drop Aguero into the attacking playmaker role because if he was here, he'd be offering some sort of coverage there. And then it's just the two in midfield struggling and it's just an easy goal for the striker. And it's it's more of a... It's not the keeper's fault, really. He just he rounded the keeper, yes. And again, I'm just going to drop Aguero back and just see what he can do as like... Yeah, an attacking midfielder on attack. We might as well do that. Just see how he does in that sort of role. I did play him in that role a couple of games back and he did all right. So we'll just see how he gets on. All right, so Gerdson with a free kick. You know how good he is with free kicks. But Sane with a very good header out. But it just does fall to another Everton player. And they're now on the attack again. I just feel like it's not going to be our game. It really isn't. Unless we somehow manage to get ourselves back into it. Roberts with the shot. Almost beats Robertson. But he doesn't, thank God. I don't know who Robertson is anyway. It's Roberto anyway, not Robertson. Right, half time. We've had a pretty poor half, and I'm, I haven't been angry at them for a while. I'm, I am just going to yell at them. Say, come on, show me something else this second half. We are struggling with fitness as well. That's the other thing. Rotation. If you look at the, the defence fitness wise, the midfield, we are struggling. So we are going to start picking up injuries, and it's just not good. But I am going to make a couple of changes, I believe. I'm going to bring on... Right, let's just have a look at conditioning-wise. Grinduzzi is struggling. I'm going to bring on Swift. John Swift is actually doing all right. I'm going to bring on Abraham as well. I believe that's all I'm going to do for the time being. I'm just going to just kick on from that. Hopefully, we can make the early subs. Montrell is injured now. We've got a throwing deep in their half. Barnes heads it out. Montrell is injured. Picks the ball up. Hopefully, he doesn't fall down injured. Right, Swift plays it to Barnes. To Montreal, he's going to have to come off. There we go. There's the tackle. I knew that was going to happen, and I knew he was going to give the ball away because he's injured. I'm just going to make the change now. Reese James, the young lad's going to come on for him, and that's going to be all three subs done. Big ball over the top here. Surely we can deal with this. Cunningham, the captain, just passes it back to Roberto, who ah, oh, the young lad just made a mess of that. He really did. Ah, we are going to miss Henderson in goal at the minute, but he is a young lad, this goalkeeper. He's got plenty of time to get goods. It just may be playing him in a quarter-final of an FA Cup. Just the pressure's getting to him, isn't it? About He should have just passed it straight back, but he doesn't. To be honest with you, Cunningham could have given him a chance. He could have run back a little bit more. It's 2-0, unfortunately, for us. Yes, we want to make the changes. Um, what do I do now? Cunningham, to be honest with you, yeah, it was your fault, Cunningham, that we uh, conceded that goal. Ball over the top. We just need to get back into this now. Sane. Back to Roberto. To Saldado. Roberto with a good kick out. Yes, he does. He finds Miguel. Miguel to Swift. Playing it back to Sane. To Cunningham. To Miguel. Can we get a goal? Miguel. All the way to Harvey Barnes. What's he going to do? He's going to hit it. And it's just high and wide. And I don't blame him for hitting it. It's We might as well have a chance. Right, we've got a goal kick here. Sane. Plays it back to Roberto. Can he get a good pass on? He he doesn't really. Abraham should have challenged for that really. Swift though. Good tackle. But again, he's not got any cover around him. Just the way we set up. And there. Oh my God. I thought that was going to be the third goal. We were lucky there. We've had mo most possession. More shots. We're just not converting our chances really. And it's a back four that's letting us down a little bit. And there he's offside. How are you offside from a corner? That's what I don't get. From that position as well. Oh, pushing another player. I thought he said offside. Okay. Roberto, big ball over to, to the top to James. Swift's on it. To Barnes. Come on, let's get a goal now and get back into the game. Swift. To Aqua. To Aguero. Plays in Miguel, who shoots and he scores. Gets his fourth goal of the season. Miguel, the Portuguese wonder kid. And he is a wonder kid. I did check. So we've got a Portuguese wonder kid. The next Ronaldo, eh? Um, scores a lovely goal. Aguero sets him up. And we're back into this tie. We just need to now show some passion. Just get back into it, guys. Grab another goal and just get it to extra time. All right, Roberto plays it to Swift. 
Bow kicks it out wide to James. There's 10 minutes to go this game. Barnes. Ah, that was a poor pass from Barnes looking for Acker in the middle there. But Saldado picks the ball up. Passes it to Roberto. This time he just boots it straight forward. He's not going to make the same mistake. But it's a lovely pass to Aguero. Miguel's in. Miguel beats his man. Miguel shoots. And it goes out for a corner kick with nine minutes to go. Can we get some sort of result out of this? Can we take Everton to extra time? Swift with the corner kick in. The keeper's there. Picks it straight out of the sky. And there's three minutes to go in this game. Not three minutes. A couple of minutes. Oh, there we go. Chance. And Abraham's there and grabbed a very, very late goal. There's five minutes of added time. I went attacking. And I thought that wasn't going to work. But we've managed to nick a goal back. Cunningham throws it to Aguero. Who gets the cross in. Harvey Barnes has the chance. The keeper just claws it out of the net. It goes straight towards Abraham. And Abraham taps that in for his sixth goal of the season. And I think we're going to extra time. Extra time with plays that are pretty much half dead as well. This is going to be an interesting extra time. I need to make some subs and I can't do it. I'm very happy with how things are. Yeah, but I don't think I can make any subs, which is the problem. Uh, oh, yeah, I can. I can make the sub. Ah, right, okay. I do have a fourth substitution to make. This could be interesting. Who is... I haven't got anyone, though, that can play in the centre. That's my problem. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep these guys on. Who's better? At, uh, I don't know. Do you know what? I'm not. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna see who's better at penalties, and I'm gonna get the uh, good old penalty takers on the pitch. I think if we get to that point, but everyone is looking tired. They really are. They've made their fourth substitution. Maybe Sane. Maybe Saldado. I need to look. Cunningham. To be honest with you, Cunningham is having a terrible game. I could take him off and bring on Vidal. That's what I'm gonna do. Cunningham's off. I've, the captain's coming off. He's having a poor game. Bring on Vidal and just uh, hopefully see how he gets on. I've paused it right. Oh, the second half continues of extra time. And, well, nothing happened in that first half there. Sigurdsson with a great spot for a free kick. He didn't score it. Thank God for us there. Right. We've got a free kick. Swift is there. Abraham's there again for the second chance. This time he misses. Abraham had a chance to win it for us. Right, goal kick to Everton. Just take your time. Oh, he should have just took his time there instead of trying to head it on. That's what I don't like. Sometimes they can just keep the ball to themselves. They're in. Can we keep hold of this ball? Townsend shoots. Andros Townsend scores. And I think we're going to be knocked out. I'm going to have to go attack him. We put in one hell of an effort here against Everton. And again, it looks like they're going to be knocking us out of a cup unfortunately, just plays it wide. You can't really fault the young goalkeeper. He's had a decent game. He's part, He's made that one mistake. Probably should have done better there because he got beat at the near post. He's on a 6.2. He's actually had a bit of a terrible game. But as well, you'd think the captain would have had a better game. Are we going to score the last minute of this to bring it to penalties? Ball into the box. Swift's there. James is there. Just whip it into the box, guys. Turn around and just get this ball into the box. And he doesn't. And it's a poor pass. Full time, unfortunately, we are not out of the FA Cup. We made it to the sixth round, though. It's not too bad. Unlucky boys. We we made it to extra time. They pulled it back. And now how long have I got? Two weeks to wait for the Newcastle game. So, guys, we're just going to have to sit and wait around. It's going to be a while until you guys... Well, it's going to be a while for me to get to this Newcastle game. It'll be two seconds for you guys. So, just bear with me. And we're back for the uh, Newcastle game. So here we are for the Newcastle game. And I don't know what to think about this game. I don't. It should be an, an easiest one for us to win, I reckon. But they are ahead of us in the league. I don't know. But we're just going to get straight into it. This is the team lineup we've got. We've got Roberto still in goal. James is coming in on the right back because uh, Montrell is a little bit injured. Soldado and Sane in the middle. Henry's coming in on the left hand side just because Cunningham was just shocking in his last game. We've got Guy and Guendouzi in the central midfield. Then we've got Barnes, Swift and Miguel and Montreal up front. I'm, actually, what I'm thinking, actually, is no, screw it. I'm not going to do Swift there. I'm going to drop Guy back. I'm going to do the 4 3 3. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you there. Then I'm going to bring Acra back on as a box to box midfielder. Come on, box to box midfielder on support. That's fine. You can be a ball winning midfielder and defend. Hopefully, that'll just give us some more chance. We've got 
Barnes and Miguel on the uh, the wings, and Morel up front by himself. Hopefully, he can score another goal. He's been doing all right for us recently. But a league game now. Now we're knocked out of the FA Cup. We just need to focus on the league. We just need to make sure we own Newcastle after the last one. Yeah, they did. They did beat us, didn't they? Um, there we go. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh my god, how many questions are they asking? So where are we in the league? I don't think I discussed this. We are ninth in the league, actually. We're doing really well, um, considering I don't think we're going to be relegated now. Newcastle are below us, actually. I thought they were uh, above us. But yeah, if we... Well, if this ends like this, or we manage to win, we, we're going to be ninth, as things stand. And that's looking to top half of the Premier League table, which is pretty decent from what the start we had and what it was like when we came into this club as well. There were... Just, just shy of the relegation zone. Miguel was in here and Miguel scores. We score within three minutes. And it's an absolutely lovely goal. It's a lovely team goal. Barnes just plays it to Morel up front. I say lovely team goal. There was a couple of passes in there, but this was a great pass. Just threads it in. Miguel's there. Scores. And like I say, he's shown me all that worth for that new contract. I just don't... Oh, hey, oh, we've, got a free, uh, we've got a corner here. Barnes hits it. And that looked like that went in. Obviously... It's not. We're not even going to get to see the uh, the goal line technology thing. But yeah, um, we're away from home, and I just think we're doing really well. Obviously, the goal difference, the clubs around us, we're minus four. We need to sort that out. I think if we sort the defence out again in the again when it comes to January, I think sorting the defence out. Miguel's in again though. That's a poor from the goalkeeper there, and James picks it up. I think we've got some good fullbacks. Gwendozi here with a shot. We've got. I'd like say some good full backs. We've got some decent centre backs. Me selling Anderson was probably a very poor mistake, but it's fine. We've we've got Garcia that needs to start stepping up a little bit. He's he's played some good games for us when he's played as well, so maybe start playing him a little bit more. Klein here for Newcastle. Shoots and Roberto with a fantastic save there. He's shown some good stuff. Uh Harvey Barnes though has picked up an injury. He's been quite injury prone throughout this uh Save so far for us. I'm going to take him off straight away. I'm going to bring on a maximum. Again, he's pretty decent out on that right hand side. He's had a good, good stint for us. So I think we've got a good first team. We need to look at maybe improving some of the positions, and then this first team, some of them then can drop to the bench because obviously I'm not rotating too much. And if you can, you can tell we've had two weeks off actually. And um, Sane's a little bit tired. He's not fully match fit. Rico Henley, obviously, he's not been playing too much as of late. But I'm happy with how things are. We're one nil up. And, yeah, we just need to go ahead and just win this game and just comfortably as well. It'd be nice. Just another goal early on would be lovely. Right, we've got a goal kick. And it's a big one, actually, over the top. It doesn't go to anyone other than just a new ca the Newcastle defence. And giving them time now to build from the back. We need to, need to start closing them down a little bit. Henry, I don't know why he let William chase that down. He probably thought, oh, my God, James as well has just given... Gifted him a goal. That was just two mistakes from the uh, fullbacks here. Rico Henry just let the ball go over the top, thinking he it must have been thinking it's going out. Henry's just stood there watching it. William crosses it in here, and James right just heads it back. And I don't know what he's doing. Why head it back? And it's allowed Newcastle to get a goal back. And it's not what we need. We need to get to the forty-point mark as quick as we can. And we can't afford to lose games like this. These are the games we need to be winning. Right, Miguel, Guendouzi, ball over the top. We're in. There we go. 2-1, get in. It's his seventh goal of the season. Um, Morel is just, yeah, lovely goal. And this was Miguel. Setting, oh, no, it was Guendouzi, actually, the long ball over the top. He's sitting on the last man, and it's a lovely finish. Beats the goalkeeper. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, actually, with his shot. And we're looking good so far. Corner kick comes in, and it's 2-2. Again, we just can't defend set plays. And I have actually set it up to how I normally have them. And we're still, again, just struggling with set, pay, set, with set pieces. Um, free kicks, corners as well, especially. And that's William wins the header, and that's an easy tap-in for their player there. We need to start thinking of some uh, some changes. James is having a poor game, but I, haven't, I don't really want to risk Montreal. I'm going to have to risk him because... James is having a bit of a very, very poor game. And I'm trying to think of who else I need to kind of maybe bring on. No one just yet. Maybe Gee might come off. And I might, in fact, should I do it now? 
I'm going to try Swift as the attacking midfielder. I was going to do this before, wasn't I? So we might as well try it now and see uh, how this works. All right, another chance here going to Newcastle's way. And I feel like they're going to be the ones, especially considering they've just scored, they're going to be the ones looking like they're going to get the other goal. And they are. And we go 3-2 down. And it's it's the defence, again, as I'm saying. The, the full-backs, they're young. And um, they're not good enough to be in the Premier League just yet. Maybe next season, if I keep giving them a chance, they might start improving. But there's no one out wide there marking William. It comes off. Uh, Rico there is also I'm playing him because he wants to play. He told me he wants to play more football, but he keeps playing as bad as that. That's terrible. And I can't fault the young goalkeeper, really. It comes down to stupid mistakes that the uh, defence have been made. The midfield-wise haven't been good either this game. Maximum's come on, not performed great. And it looks like we're going to lose this one 3 2. And it's not what we need. We needed to win this game quite comfortably. And we, are, we really didn't sign it. We're playing it around the back here. Henry, what are you doing? Just turn and get it forward. Plays it to Robert, Roberto, who does get it to Swift. Swift, first time we've seen him playing in this position. Can he get his pass off? No, he just gets tackled. He's just going to keep running and not pass it. And the amount of times I see that as well, which is just annoys me. Henry, to Sane, the, the whistle's going to go. There's no point carrying on playing, guys. We've lost this one 3-2. Falling down into 11th place. We're still not fully safe. We're not at this 40-point mark, unfortunately. I'm far from pleased, guys. I am far from pleased. We... We kind of had this one in the bag. We should have won this game. Harvey Barnes is out for 11 days, which is not good for us. Disappointing collapse. Yeah, we'll send the assistant. So when are we going to be back for the next? We don't want that. We want this. We're coming to the back end of the season. We really are. And I'm, I'm probably thinking Leicester Norwich. I'll play that game. And then we've got Arsenal Chelsea to finish it off with, I think. Or maybe just Chelsea. It depends. If I think we'll be safe by the Leicester Norwich game. So I'll just come back and then just do the Chelsea game at the end of the season, do the season review kind of thing. So guys, thank you very much for watching though. I will catch you in the next episode. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you in a bit.